Today you're going to learn how to create rules in Geometry Nodes to create perfect selection with the node greater than. Something really important to animate whatever you want. So let me delete the camera, the light, go to Geometry Nodes, close this, this panel too, and let's create a new profile. So before we do something here, let me show you Shift A, Math. This node is really popular. This node is to create math operations. And here we can change and select different types of math operations. These ones are the basic, and here we have the comparison ones. So today we are going to understand how this works and this one. So let's select greater than. With this node, we can create a lot of rules. So to see how this works, let me convert the output, the value, to a text. To do that, we are going to use value to a string. A string means text when we work in geometry nodes. So now we have a text, but we need to convert it to curve. So let's convert the string to curve. And now we need to connect this to the output. So let me disconnect this and connect curve to geometry. If we select the object, we can see a zero. Let me put this view. However, now we only have curves. So let me fill this curves with polygons. Perfect. Now we have a value. Let me center it. And let's make it bigger. Something like that. Maybe not so big. OK, perfect. We can close this. So this is how it works. Now we are getting the output value of this node zero. Why? Because this node only checks if this value is greater, bigger, higher than this value. If something is bigger, it gives you one. True. If something is not bigger, greater, then it gives you zero. False. So if I add one value and one, one is greater than one? No, it's equal. So false, so zero. Two is greater than one? Yes, so it gives output one. One means yes, true. 0 0.99999 is bigger than one? No, so zero. 10 is bigger than two? Yes, so it gives one. You get the idea, right? And remember, zero means black, one means white. This is really useful when we work with other nodes. Also, you have the opposite of this, that it's called less than. So, 10 is less than 2? No, false, so 0. 1 is less than 2? Yes, so 1. You get the idea, right? With these two nodes, you can create like selections based in values. So I recommend you always to work with this one because it's really easy to understand. If something is bigger, give me one, yes. If something is not bigger, give me zero, false. Okay, now you know how it works. What we can do now, for example, is to create a cube. And let's create a rule. So for example, I want to work with the z-axis. This one, z. And I want to create a rule to say, zero is here, around this line. So what I want to say is, if z is bigger than zero, so all this part, delete it. This is the rule I want to do. So how we do that? Let me add more vertices. So first we need to add the light geometry because I want to delete this part. If you add this node and you don't make any selection, it's giving one to all the cube. That's why it's being delayed because one means do this delete. So now it's giving one to all the geometry, so it's being deleted. So we need to do something here to say, no, please, don't give one to everything, only the top and the bottom give zero. This part one and this part zero. So this part won't be deleted. So we need to isolate the Z axis. How we do that? Let me delete this. We need to work with position because remember, we need to work with the Z. So let's bring position. And we need to isolate the Z axis. So first, here we have the three axes. So we need to separate this. Separate, separate this axis. Now it's using only X axis. Now maybe you're thinking, what's going on here? Why we have half of this cube? Because in the X axis, this is zero, and this is bigger than zero, and this is less than zero. So now, Everything that is bigger than zero is being selected. So that's why this is being deleted. 
Anyway, let's continue with the z-axis. So let me delete this and we need to combine this. Let's keep in z-axis and connect it here. So now we need to do something here. Now it's the moment to add math node and select greater than. So we can create a rule. We are working only with z and z. Remember what I say. I want to delete when the z is bigger than zero. So this is taking, now we cannot add a value because it's taking all the position of all the geometry. Of every geometry is taking the position only in the z-axis because we are working with the z-axis. And now it's when we say, okay, whatever is bigger than zero, delete it. I add zero, so remember, this is zero, and this is minus one, minus two, and this is bigger than zero in z-axis, so it's being deleted. If you want to change this, now we can change the threshold, and we can say only what is bigger than 0 0.2, or whatever value you want. So this is how we create rules, and you can do the same with other axes. Let's change to x-axis and this one here. So now, like before, when x is bigger than zero, it's being deleted, but I can change this, and we can create this animation. If we move this, we can do the same with the y-axis. So now you understand how this works. Okay, but if you want, we can do other things, not just delete things. For example, let me delete this, and let's add an extrude. If we add an extrude and there is no selection, remember, everything has one of value, that means that everything is being extrude. That if you want something not to be extrude, we need to give it zero. So here we have another selection, so we can say, A, whatever is bigger than zero in Z axis, give one, extrude. If not, not. So this part, is the part of the cube that is not being extruded. But we can lower this threshold. So all these parts now are getting extruded. Or we can make it higher, greater. So all these parts of Z is being not extruded. Another example. Let me delete this and let's add mesh to curve. So if we add this, Everything is converted to a curve because everything is one. So we can select this and say, please, only convert, for example, this part. When it's bigger than zero in Z axis, convert it to curve. If not, don't do it. But now we cannot see the mesh because this convert to curve. We cannot get curve and mesh. If you want to see the mesh, we need to create another wire, for example, and connect it to joint geometry. So now we have curve and mesh. And we could just delete this. If we do, for example, let me think one moment, delete geometry. And here we do the same. So now this part of the cube is being selected and converted to curve. And at the same time, this part of the cube is being deleted when it's mesh. So you can see how easy it is to create rules with this node greater than. When you think, for example, in the axis position, there is other ways to do it and more complex, but this is the base, how this works and how to create different routes. If you enjoyed this video, give a like, subscribe, and you can donate this project and many more in my Patreon. So, see you next video.